happy. Uh, Strike up, shooting in the sixth frame. Dale Glenn bowling well. Gil Slyker, Fred Jasky, and Jim Lipsitz, his brother, Dr. Tom Lipsitz, is a clinical psychologist, gave a clinic here covered by John Archibald, the post-dispatch. Really had a lot of positive attitudes to it. Denny Campbell bowling well. Henry Gonzalez. Leroy Barnhop, who is from the tough Midwestern region headed up by Don McLaren, Hugh Miller, the former Quaker State Champion 21st, Randy Lightfoot, Billy Walden's protege up there, Kenny Hall, Billy George filled in for Roy Buckley who couldn't finish. Get up, get up! How did the seven ever stand? As you heard Anthony say, get up, he could have really knocked Mark Roth out with that one. Anthony, with a commanding 55 pin lead, could have extended it to 66 with that strike. Missed by more than a quarter of a board. <laughs> a quarter of a board. That's 60 feet away, pal. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty sharp. No. All right. After a double of spare in the seventh frame, 148 through the sixth for Earl Anthony. Now Mark Roth. After two opens, a strike in the sixth, shooting in the seventh. Crossing over, leaving the six. Mark, who studies his game with a uh, videotape, is going to have to look at this telecast and last week, Chris. I've never mm -hmm. seen him so erratic. That that particular ball, he just turned and hooked as much as he possibly could what, from the low held camera. The trajectory, the ball breaking, very sharply going on the one two side. I guess not a bad hat for Anthony, but not too good for Ron. Speed to spare. Mm. And in the Rollades Open, look at his record. Two victories, a fourth, an 11th, and a 28th. $37,400. And if he doesn't strike on this ball or get on the stick, uh, barring any collapse by Anthony, he's going to have another third to add to his list because he's in trouble. Trailing by 55 pins, eighth frame. You know, Nelson, you're... Bowling tip of the week this week, which follows this game, is on concentration. And uh, I think in all professional sports, occasionally you see people that just lose it nearly completely. Here's a man that hasn't lost it. Come on, ball, finish. Another seven in the eighth frame, 167 through seven. 54 pin lead. Said it, he threw it as good as he could. Solid seven. <laughs> right at it. Don't give it room, he said. All right. He liked that. And consistently making those spares. There you see the story. Earl Anthony in his second game, the semifinal prior to the championship match, leading by 54. Projecting if Earl Anthony needs one mark, either in the ninth or tenth frame, to shut out Mark Roth. Oh, Anthony going at a 227 pace. Good speed. As he said, good speed on the left-hand lane. Keep the speed up. Stay out. Stay out. Hit it. All right. Seven through the eighth, the strike on the foundation frame. Roth, the best he can do is 203. A six. So Earl Anthony, with a commanding lead, has gone on to win his second match today. He will meet the tournament leader, Tom Baker of Buffalo, New York, at stake in that match will be $16,000 to the winner. So coming up next, stay tuned for the Anthony Baker match as the Pro Bowlers Tour will continue after this message from one of our sponsors and station identification. Stay tuned.